much. I'm Julie Menon, and I'm running for Manhattan Borough President. I want to thank LIT and Paul and David and Robin for putting this forum together. So I'm going to address a uh, issue of the plank that is very near and dear to my heart, and that is battling Con Edison. Because basically, the idea that uh, not-for-profit performance venues are paying an unfavorable rate is absolutely wrong. And so I want to tell you a little bit about my history with Con Edison representing Lower Manhattan. I sat on the board of the Lower Manhattan Development Corporation. I was one of their biggest critics. I exposed the fact that they were sitting on $200 million that no one even knew about. Yes. And, I, <laughs> and I wrote an op-ed in the Daily News in Ukraine saying we should use all $200 million to build the World Trade Center Performing Arts Center. As many of you know, <laughs> rates by $50, and I fought them back by writing a letter to the Public Service Commission demanding that they investigate Con Ed for illegally threatening to raise rates, and I won the $200 million victory for Lower Manhattan. We are building this performing arts center. <laughs> advocate for the arts. Not only did I lock, unlock the $200 million, but also we unlocked the $45 million of LMDC funds, which Community Board 1 really made the case for to go to cultural institutions. If I am elected borough president, I will make the arts a major platform because it really is not only about promoting the arts, it's about the fact that the arts bring so much economic bottom line. I'm not going to cite the, I know you all know the, the statistics, but I would point out, for example, that the city of Miami Beach with Art Basel brings in $600 million of economic revenue. In San Francisco and Yerba Buena, San Francisco decided to invest in a performing arts center precisely because they prioritize the arts. In addition, what the city of San Francisco does with land use is they allocate 1% of a project's hard cost to arts. This is a kind of innovation and prioritization of culture that we must do in New York, and that is what I would do as the next Manhattan Borough President.